Welcome to this month's March Reflection. And I'm sorry I wasn't organised enough to uh, do one in February. Had one in January, now one in March. And I'll try to keep them coming uh, each month from now on. So lovely to be back with you and to share this reflection. Many of you will know that we've now entered the season of Lent. And on the Sunday before Lent, we were up a mountain where Jesus was transfigured. That was our reading. Three days later, we gathered around ash and we marked the sign of the cross on our bodies. And then on the first Sunday in Lent, we were in the wilderness with Jesus facing significant temptation. What a contrast of scenes and experiences across just one week. The journey of Lent is a path that many Christians travel each year. And it's a time for us to remember Jesus' journey toward the cross. On that journey, he met many people. He laughed with them. He cried with them. He taught them. He learned from them. But he also ministered to them, offering teaching, healing and hope. But most of all, most of all, he loved them. Not just with his words, but also with his actions. And Jesus taught his followers that they were to love one another as he had loved them. And they were also to love the world that Jesus loved. Now Lent is a time for quiet reflection. We reflect on our lives, on the mistakes that we've made, maybe the opportunities that we've missed, the people that we've ignored, and we become aware of ourselves, including, at times, our self-indulgent nature. There's much more to this journey than individual reflection on our lives. The church has made mistakes. The church has hidden things that should not have been hidden. We've abused our power and our position as a church. And this has meant that we've not been a good witness in our community. People have become suspicious of the church. Attitudes toward the church have hardened. We also live in a community where the playing conditions are uneven. The rich tend to get richer and the poor poorer. And sometimes our laws and structures do not support justice and equity. So many people face challenges in our world. Whole communities face the impact of war, earthquake, volcano, flooding, cyclone and some countries have the infrastructure in place to cope with disasters and some countries do not and sadly many people remain trapped in despair and with little hope gracious god we have much to reflect on jesus has told us and shown us what costly discipleship might look like. While we are not Jesus, we are called to carry forward his ministry and his mission. That is our challenge and our responsibility and our privilege. And the great thing is we engage in this endeavour together. But we also know that we are not alone in another way. For God's Spirit is with us constantly. May we each sense and experience God's presence in our lives and in this twisting, turny, turning journey of life. May we seek to faithfully follow Jesus step by step. So let us make this journey of Lent 
together. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for the season of Lent, for this time of reflection, reflection on ourselves, reflection on who you are, our reflection on the life and ministry of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the promise of forgiveness and for the hope of new life. We pray that we may continue to faithfully live out the gospel message, that we may continue to love and serve people, and that we might carry forward faithfully Christ's ministry and mission. We thank you for Christ's teaching, his life, his example. And we thank you for his promise that he will be with us always to the end of the age. So Lord, in this journey of Lent, help us to learn, help us to grow, help us to be faithful, help us to serve. Through Christ we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to joining you for a reflection in early April, first Thursday in April. Of course, that one will be an Easter themed reflection. May God continue to journey with you. Amen.